Talking with my boss about diversity and inclusion. Sometimes she says they, sometimes she says you. She's talking about black people. When she says they, I try to forgive, to remember she is not American and tends to miss the nuance, the apparent contradiction of race not equaling phenotype. Or black people having, how could it be, blonde hair and green eyes even when both parents are black. Or my mother, being an Arab and not American-born. When she says you, I believe she is doing me a favor. Counter-transference. Because you yourself had not done the work I had come to you to do, for myself, you felt pain, I see now. Each week I carried with my warm yellow hands and left on the frame of your door my own pain. At first, once a week, you'll remember, then twice a week, and even three times once or twice. Impossible, your eyes seem to say, like so many before it, measuring by guesstimate my blood or writing me out of history as though it were a single thread, which was, to me, I had confided to you, the saddest practice. When we do to one another what has to us been done, pulling in, pushing out, etc., until finally, three months in, you said the thing I had all along felt you feel. I am a black man. Hand opened across your chest to say without saying, you are not what you think you are. Too light, too bright a vision, yours, to contain you and me both. And so it was your pain I was paying to see, to speak to me, to seep out of you as energy, as a texture of air I breathed in, passing what, how, in that room that remains for me, pure white, except for the awning windows opened at a sharp angle to the adjacent buildings, their red brick walls.